I started off with this CC Designs Q-Pig um, image, which I love. And I love the name. It just cracks me up. Anyway, um, I inked them up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and then stamped them onto the CC Designs Cobalt Quality 110 pound white cardstock that I had already cut out with one of my Spellbinders circle dies. And then for the Copics used to color him in, I started off with RV10 for my lightest pink. And then I'm adding in the darker areas with RV11. And then the darkest of the three is the RV13, which I'm using really sparingly. And then blending out the RV13 back with the RV11. And then I will blend that all together with the RV10. And as always, I started, I just started with the face and then I move on to the body. I do everything kind of in sections. Um, it just makes it easier to blend because then the marker is still wet. But even if you do, you can do the whole thing all at once. With Copics, it's a lot easier um, to blend colors together, obviously. So then I did the same thing to the body. Started with the lightest, worked to the darkest, and then went back and blended it all together again. So once I had that, I took the RV13, which was the darkest, and put that in the center of his ears. And then for his little nose, or snout, or whatever, um, I started with the RV11, filled that in, added the RV13, and then blended that again with the RV11. Just to give it a bit of um, definition from the rest of his little body. And then for... Oh, and then I blended out the inside of the, his ears again with that RV11. And then for his little nostrils, I used um, E42 and E43. And then I used the same colors for um, his hooves. I started with E42 just to lay down a base. And then I went in with E43 to add the darker areas. And then after that, my darkest kind of brown shade, kind of went with browny taupe colors, is E44. So I just kind of flicked that in in the darkest spots, blended that out with the E43 again, and then blended everything together with the E42. So yeah, really quick and easy. And then the wings, um, I wanted them to be kind of like a purple, but mostly white. So I started with BV02 and just put that in really lightly just along like the bottom edge. And then I started blending that out with BV000. And again, keeping it pretty close to the edge. And then finally I went in with the zero, like the colorless blender, and really pushed that deeper into the cardstock so it just fades to white and is really light. Just like so. And then for the little arrow, um, the feather on the arrow, I just filled it in with YG25. And you notice I finally realized that this thing wasn't in focus the whole time. So sorry about that. So yeah, filled in the little feather on the arrow with YG25. And then colored in the heart part of it with the BV02 and BV000. And then last but not least, I wanted to add some shading. So I went in with C3, which is the darkest. I did that to all the darker areas. Um, I'm picturing my light source coming from the upper left, just so people know. And then I went in with C1 just to blend out that um, the number three a bit. And then did more blending with the C00, which is the lightest of the cool grays. Um, just pulling the color like deeper into the cardstock and making it fade out some more. And then finally, um, I go in with my colorless blender again just to really blend that out, like not even going near the image itself, just to blend out the gray so that it just fades. So it's just kind of a nice, a really pale, light shadow. So yeah. Now onto the rest of the card. I'm using the Bow Bunny Smoochable Pattern Paper for this card. And I'm doing something a little different this time. I'm actually I'm going to build onto the card base itself instead of just doing everything on a separate piece of cardstock and then adhering it to the card at the end. So that actually presents a little bit more of a challenge just because you guys all know I'm quite OCD with how the insides of my card look. So I'm kind of just building out the layout um, just on my craft mat. The sentiment comes with the cute pig um, stamp set so I inked it up with um, oh, Brilliant Scraphite Black. Oh, wait, my brain is just not working today. Stamp that onto um, Pale Pink Stampin' Up cards are pink pirouette. There we go. And then punched it out with my Stampin' Up Modern Label Punch. If you guys noticed, I actually labeled the darn thing. 
And now I also punched out that heart with the Marvy. That's the super jumbo blue punch. And then I'm inking all the edges with Memento Rich Cocoa ink just to get them to stand out a little bit more against that white cardstock. So once I've got everything basically how I want it, it's time to adhere everything to the card itself. So I'm just using my ATG adhesive and adhering everything down the way I want it. I already had like kind of a layout sketched out on a scrap of paper. And starting with the base, then the main image, and then this little other strip of pattern paper. And then finally the little heart I'd punched out and adhere the sentiment over it. And of course I can't leave the card like that. I've got to add to it. So I've got some May Arts. Um, this is 5 8 inch pink satin ribbon. So wrap that around the card front. This I don't mind showing on the inside of the card because it's just ribbon. So it's not like it's ugly when you open the card and you can see the back of the ribbon. So I do that, get the edges trimmed, fiddle with it a bit, and then just slide it over because um, I wanted it closer to the right hand side of the card. And then finally for the final embellishments that I wanted to add, I actually found these little, these are called Bella's Baubles. They're from stampingbella.com. Bought them years ago. There's little gl colored glass embellishments because I didn't want to use brads or eyelets or anything that's going to poke through because, you know, the back of them is ugly. Although really, you could still do that and adhere a piece of pattern paper the inside to cover it up or whatever. But I just thought I'd use those since I hadn't used them in so long and I found, like, the right color. And then, of course, I had to add some sparkles, so I added some diamond stickles to the wings and to the little arrow and then decided to add it to pretty much the entire image while I was at it. And again, really lightly dabbing it so that it dries much faster, plus then it's not just like a solid slab of glitter. So that way, once that's done, that'll dry nice and quick, and then I can go on to the inside of the card. Um, more pattern paper from the Smoochable collection just fiddling around with a layout. I cut, die cut another circle with my Spellbinders dies from some white cardstock so there's space to write um, a message to someone. And then the sentiment is from my Hardy Sayings stamp set. So again, inked it up with the Brilliant Graphite Black, stamped it onto the pink Pure Wet cardstock, and then I'm punching it out again with the Marvy um, Super Jumbo Heart Punch. And then just like I did on the outside of the card, all of the layers I ink the edges up with the Memento Rich Cocoa ink. And then I'm going to adhere that to the inside of the card. And oh, just because I get asked a lot, my card base is the same CC Designs, like the 110 pound white cardstock. That's my go to base when I'm getting, I want a, when I want a white cardstock base because it's really good and sturdy. And yeah, that's all there was to it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!